Yep, just as I thought. What? I didn't think that. 13 foot four. I thought this was a 14 foot boat. Unbelievable. So false advertising. Well, that, there you have it, folks. I lied to you. Well, what do you know? It's the same. Anyways, welcome back to part five. Today I'm gonna cut through all the fiberglass to pull out the strings and the runners. The strings and the runners. The stringers and runners. I am hoping to get them pulled out by the end of the day. I'm thankful for the sun. It's been about a week since we've had sunshine. There have been a lot of wildfires here in the area and the smoke has the smoke has been causing a lot of haze, smog, and just very, very poor visibility. And there goes Jace. Where are you going, big guy? So I got an external mic for the camera that I'm using, so hopefully the sound quality will be better. I'm hoping this new microphone works well. What are you eating, Jace? You silly boy. Ew. Oh, no. Ew. You don't want to put that grease in your mouth. <laughs> Okie dokie, folks. This is a really rough draft. Real rough. Super rough. All right. So that's actually 15. Check that out. Look at that. Chase, what's the matter? Oh, don't you worry, big guy. <laughs> hey. What's that, Jace? Yeah. Okay,
So I got two stringers out so far. This is the condition they were in. Basically, clearly they're rotted, rotten right through. I guess so much for, so much for tracing them. <laughs> I'm just ripping them apart. But, uh, oh, just piece them back together. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the other one. Got two out so far. And, uh, Yeah, we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes when I trace them out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Four more stringers left. All right, everybody. So, this is what we got, just the runners left. A lot of broken up fiberglass, all the stringers are out. It's been good. It's getting dark. I'm gonna try to get the last two runners out and then I'll call it a day. And uh, we'll uh, see what tomorrow brings. Maybe tomorrow I will rip all the extra fiberglass out. So far I've purchased, I think, four of these rigid blades. Um, I know one of them only lasted five to 10 minutes before the rivet started popping out, which is kind of annoying because you figure like you paying $20 for a blade, you, you might as well get some good use out of it. So I'm not gonna buy those ones anymore. Get the solid ones guys, without the rivets, just a full blade. This is what it looks like. It just has the, the pattern that you stick on. You have two options center it up or put it on the outside I haven't used the outside one yet but maybe it works better at this point it's working well on the center so I'll just put you guys up here on the bow <laughs> and I'll start throwing all this stuff in the garbage
open this. All right, Jace. Get your, get your feet all wet, eh? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we have the boat. It's all cleaned out, washed out. Looking all clean and spiffy. All the loose fiberglass is cut down. You can see uh, most of it. Actually, there's one little piece there. Um, but most of it's as low as I want it. So when I do install the new stringers, um, hopefully they'll just fit right in. And then I can uh, figure out if I'm gonna lay down some more, more fiberglass cloth to seal it all up, or if I can just maybe glue glue the new stringers and runners just straight to the floor, and then maybe just not um, worry about more fiberglass, because I don't actually know if the fiberglass is really helping structurally, or if it was just to keep the wood fr protected from water, but obviously not, <laughs> because they're rotten. So, What's so funny, Jace? Ooh. Say, excuse me. Burping on the camera. Burping in front of the camera. Whoop. 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 So, yeah. I don't know what I'll do yet. If you guys have any ideas, it'd be good to know the best plan for this and what would work best if I could just either put the runners down and glue them, glue them straight down to the floor or glue them as well as fiberglass them. Um, yeah, I'll have to do a little bit of research, but that's all I'm gonna do for part five. In the next video, I will probably trace out the new stringers on wood and also the transom. I'll have to make a template to trace out the transom so I can just uh, trace it out onto a new piece of plywood. Hopefully get some mar marine grade plywood for the transom and also marine grade wood for the stringers and runners. But it's going to probably be a little bit more pricey. Yeah. The main purpose of the stringers and runners is to support the hull. It doesn't bend and flex and bow and all that stuff. And that's the main reason I had to replace them all. Because there was probably little, little support left in those old stringers and runners. But as of right now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. After these stringers and runners are in, things will start looking better. Get a new floor put in there, and then I can start thinking about putting the transom on and also the top back on the boat. That's gonna be an interesting job. If you have any great ideas, just let me know. Otherwise, I have to go and research this all on my own. I might do it wrong. What are you doing with the screwdriver, Jace? Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.